It's impossible, if you're a college student, after 10 p.m. in Boston, to get a taco. <laughs> no matter how hungry you are. Hunger can drive you to solve your problems. So as an electrical engineering college student, I decided, I fixated on solving that challenge for myself. I became obsessed with the idea of using flying robots to bring me the tacos. <laughs> Two years later, on a hot summer night, June 2012, a taco arrived in my hand via drone for the first time. 2016 is a very exciting time. Some of our best and brightest today are actively working on bringing you what you want, when you want it, where you are, and we call this drone delivery. In fact, this dream is even older than my desires. This is a picture drawn by an urban planner, the guy who came up with the idea of the roundabout 100 years ago. And as you can see, this image, this vision, is filled with flying machines doing things for us and taking us places. But the thing is, it's not going to happen like this. Here's why. This is a graph drawn by an aerospace engineer named Theodore von Karman. Von Karman made this chart, and it lets you put every type of transportation vehicle onto a chart that shows how fast it goes and how much specific power, or roughly energy cost, it takes to make that thing go. On the bottom left, boats. They're fairly cheap. They don't go very fast, they're fairly slow. And they move a huge amount of cargo compared to how much they weigh. In the middle, trucks, they're a little faster, they're slightly more expensive, and they move roughly the same amount of cargo as what a truck weighs. Then when you need to move something really urgently, which is lightweight, you gotta have an airplane. There's a line here that separates these, where after a certain speed, it doesn't make sense to spend the energy to keep that vehicle on the ground, and it makes more sense to fly. Drones are about here. So the question is, is this drone going to start moving coal around? Probably not. We have trains for that. Is it going to move your urgently needed, lightweight, valuable legal documents for you across town? I could see that happening. Is it going to move medical supplies to places where there aren't roads, where trucks can't get to today? Seems pretty plausible. Is it going to bring me my taco? <laughs> That's subjective. 